What would happen if you took YouTuber logos and made them realistic? Like, really realistic. We're gonna be kicking it off with Dream. Is he even really a YouTuber anything unless I include Dream? He doesn't need this, this simple, basic logo. It's literally just, what, one, two, three, four, five, six lines. After we cut him out, we need to replace these little eyeballs on him. I liquefied them all the way down into these perfect little circles. And then I did the same thing with the other eye, duplicated it over. That's that's a start. It's, it's a something. It's a something, that's for sure. So now we got these lips. And Dream surprisingly actually has like a good set of lips on him so i took him out and i just stretched them literally as far as i could he kind of looks like that cat from alice in wonderland you know so now we gotta make the meat suit we take his face we make it as big as humanly possible to fill up all the surface area and then i'm gonna warp him out to make sure he's this perfect circle and then i'm gonna erase all of his features until there is no more clay only dream and now we're left with this okay but why is it so cute it looks like a little guppy i had to add back in all of his details so we added in the little facial hair his upper lip hair. We're also going for the bags. You know, I think it was like adorable before I added the eye bags. Next is the body. I had a decision here. Either I make it a very long, thick neck or I make it into a body. And I, I chose a neck because he's there's no clothes on him and it's just one line. You know, like if it had shoulders, maybe I could add the body, but no. So he is just, he has the thickest neck anyone's ever seen and it just goes all the way down. Now I know there's gonna be one person out there's gonna be like, you know, Dream's thing doesn't have hair. So I, I took away the hair, all right? I shaved his head and it looks worse. The, the hair added at least some like loving character to it. You know what he kind of looks like? A creeper, like like a really ultra realistic creeper with human skin. Hopefully, hopefully he likes it. Dream, more like nightmare. <laughs> Here's your new improved logo. Hashtag logo was taken. I, I made him some new merch. Uh, I think that's very, I would pay for it. I mean, I know you would pay for it too. Hopefully we, he responds. Because in my last video, I turned YouTubers into their logos and none of them responded. But today I'm not gonna let that happen. I am going to keep turning people into their logos until one of them responds. Speaking of responses, up next is Jacksepticeye, who was requested the most out of any and all YouTubers. I don't know Jacksepticeye too well. The only things I know are that he's been on the platform for a really long time and he's Irish. Those are the only things I know. My official plan was to use his eyeball for the eyeball, but I realized really quickly that the photos were just way too low quality. So I had to go with a separate option. We are going to go and find a realistic 3D eyeball and we're gonna use that instead. We cut that out, we throw it on there. We're gonna go in for some light basic shading just just to add a little bit even more realism to it and then I need to go find whatever this thing is I find out that it's called the optic nerve so I'm like oh easy enough 3d renderings of an optic nerve Th there was nothing usable what am I supposed to use instead right like what is this shape and, and like it has to look like fleshy I started to get desperate um I won't lie <laughs> We didn't use them, thank God. I didn't have to because I had this idea that maybe if I just look up 3D human flesh, I'd find something, and I did. Uh, it was a, a tongue. I popped that bad boy on there, sized it up. Now, is this exact? No, it kind of looks like the Jacksepticeye one is like really smooth, but in my brain, that's what an optic nerve looks like. We shaped that into place. I had to liquefy it out, and then if we go into the blending, right? Because it, it has to look like it's literally attached to this thing. Oh my God, that boy look, shit. It looks clean. It looks really nice. I hit it with a couple of like finishing details, some shading, making the iris bigger, turning it all green, of course. And after that, it was just looking seamless. It was ready to go. This looks good, but it's missing something. It's kind of cute. It's kind of like one of the most adorable things I've ever seen in my entire life. I kind of want to name this logo Reginald. He looks like a Reginald. Okay, at Jacksepticeye, I made you an ultra realistic logo. Who's not gonna respond back to that? It's so cute. Look at him holding it. God, I'm so good at Photoshop. How do, how do you guys let me get away with this? Speaking of getting away with things, up next is David Dobrik. I didn't even think that he had a logo that was like something that I could use. He had like the clickbait logo, but that was ass, so we can't use that. But he opened a pizza place somewhere in California, and so I'm using that logo. You have to find a picture of him kind of sideways. Oh yeah, that, that looks good. I need to once again make a meat suit. I stretched him out, I cleared out the skin, made sure it was a hollow mask, and now it's time to get into the juicy parts. We have the classic David Dobrik smile, the little, 
thingy does. We got that on there, I blended it out. Now his character has this like circular nose, which now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably like this, like it's probably supposed to be like this type of nose. I did the best with what I had, and what I had was his nose. So I just took that and I just made it into a circle. Yeah, that looks human. To make the eyes, we're just gonna cut out his iris and then just plop them on there. It's just like an abomination. I'm pretty confident that once I add the whites of the eyes back in, it'll actually just look normal again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that, it looks way better. All that's left is now just the hair and the hat. I don't know who designed this logo, but they did it perfectly in David's image because I did not have to change this hair almost at all. It was like perfectly shaped. I'll let you use this logo royalty free if you buy me a Tesla. Hashtag Tesla lover, hashtag please use my logo, hashtag you're rich. Our next victim is Socks for One. And his logo is just, it's a cute little sock. I ended up taking this face. Don't ask me why I picked this face. I just got flustered with how many options I had. You know the deal, guys. We're making meat suits, but I wanted this one to be extra detailed. So I took a skin texture and overlaid it onto the Artie Skin sock. In the beginning, I didn't really know how I was gonna structure all of this because like, where does everything go? So I decided just to kind of throw it up on there and see like where things may go. At first it looked super rough. And then once I started seeing it on the sock, uh, now I'm like, oh, like it actually, it actually looks kind of good. Looks like maybe I can take the, the, the hair from his chin and wrap it around the sock that is left. And so you already know that's exactly what I did. I don't know why I give myself so much work, but apparently, <laughs> news to me, blending hair into skin is actually a pretty difficult task. So I spent like 20 minutes just getting one half of like the jaw hair on there. I wanted it to be where the end of the sock is the like the chin of his beard. And then I'll just connect it back up to his mouth. There's something about a hairy sock that, that actually frightens me. To wrap this up, we made the eyes a little bit bigger. I added a little bit more details here and there, you know, the brows, the shading, the contour, a little bit of extra, you know, details. We just sprinkled them in there. And then I added a little hat on top because he wears a hat in every single thing and I just, I didn't have that full hat, so I just made the hat. I turned you into a sock. You're welcome. <laughs> I feel like that's the least creative one yet. I'm definitely not gonna get a response from him. That's, it looks so bad, guys. That one looks outrageous. Now at first, no one responded, no one reached out, and I thought that this was gonna be a complete failure. But then I got in contact with one of their editors who said that they loved the logos and wanted to help. Are you doing it? Three, two, one. Hey, that is horrible, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I will be making out with that later. Let me know in the comments below who you guys want to see next and maybe click on that next video. I, I don't know. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs> the beard scares me. It looks, it looks like a happy trail.